Hello guys! Today we're gonna learn how to install your brand new diaper frame protector. To begin with, you need your frame protector. Here it is, frame protector. Also, included in your box, it comes a squeegee that you're gonna need for this. Here it is. Next, you're gonna need a heat gun. Heat gun. Okay, last but not least, we need some paper towels and alcohol. Uh, oh, can't forget about the scissors, but uh, don't throw me those, don't throw me those. Thank you. We got all the tools we need for the installation process. So first, we're gonna get our brand new frame protector out. Here's the squeegee and the frame protector. To make it easier for us to install the frame protector, we're gonna cut all the different pieces from the long strip. Now we're gonna make sure the frame is completely clean from any residue from grease, oil, or just dust that's gonna uh, make the frame protector not stick very well. Before we start with the frame protector or playing with the frame, you gotta make sure you wash your hands very well so you don't leave any sort of fingerprints either on the frame or the frame protector. Our frame protectors are universal and work pretty much on any bicycle on the market. But, before you peel it off, you gotta make sure it's gonna fit on your frame. So, that's why we cut it and we're gonna lay it on top of your frame to see if you need to make any modifications to the frame protector. In this case, we're not gonna need it, but our frame protectors come with some extension pieces that you can put in case your top tube is longer than the main piece. Here's a pro tip for you. Before you can peel off the frame protector, it comes very handy that you wet your fingers so you don't leave any fingerprints on the glue. So now we need to make sure the frame protector is fully aligned with the frame. Don't be scared of Peeling it off and trying again several times since this is not going to affect the glue or anything. Now that the frame protector is aligned, we're just going to press on the center of the frame protector with your finger so that it stays there. Okay, now that we've sticked just the middle part of the frame protector, we're going to use the heat gun to activate the glue and it's going to help us not to leave any bubbles. We're gonna continue by sticking the rest of the frame protector to the frame and we're always gonna do it from the center to the sides so that we push all the air out of the way. If there are any bubbles left behind, wet your fingers again and unpeel the frame protector until it bubbles out and push again so that the air comes out. And that way you get rid of it. So now we've reached a place where there's a part of piece of the frame that's on the way. This is where we're gonna use the heat gun and a very sharp blade to fix it. So now we have the frame protector all installed, but there's some tiny micro bubbles that you can still see and that's where this little guy comes into action. The squeegee is gonna help us pr press the frame protector and stick where all those micro bubbles are. So there you have it guys, with these easy steps you'll be able to get your frame protector installed perfectly with no bubbles. And all you have to do is repeat it with the remaining parts and that's it.